this Liza P video is going to show you how to get all of the Trinity keys in Liza P. I'm going to show you where all of the phone locations are. I'll tell you the answers for everything. Obviously, I've already collected them, but I know where everything is. And I feel like if I just show you where it all is, that should be pretty good. As you can see right now, we are at Vanini Works. And the first phone, I'm sure most people will have found this one. It's just off to the right hand side along the entrance here. Go ahead, speak to the King of Riddles. The answer to the first riddle is going to be human. I hear something else to note. Probably what happened with this first one, but... With future phones, like for example when we get to the second one, if you come back here you may find this is ringing and in fact the third riddle may be available earlier. There's not really very much benefit to doing this as there is obviously a limited number of doors. But it's worth noting that different phones may give you riddles in different orders because of this and so just bear in mind you're going through. Either way, we're going to pass forward to where the closest door will be for that key, which is inside this factory. And so as you come on around, you'll obviously find this little platform right here. It'll have some NPCs on it. We're going to skip on around to this side. This one's pretty obvious. I feel like most people should find it. There's going to be a couple of enemies here. We have to skip past them. Let's go. Come on around through the door, denoted by the triangle on the door. Open the safe and it should be some quartz. Let's move on to where the next phone is going to be. Now then, the second key is practically unmissable. The door that it goes to is quite missable. So, you want to be in Malam District, and as you go through, you must come through this room where an enemy drops out of the roof. The room has no windows, it's kind of really weird, but this phone will be ringing for you. And the second answer, so the answer to the second riddle, is going to be candle. Make sure you do that. Once that's done, we can go to the previous area and we're going to want to head to the top of the St. Frangelico Cathedral area. So we're just going to take the lift up right here. You will have already been through this area by the time you get to Malam District. So this shouldn't be too much of a shocking place to get to. And rather than go out across all of the different rotating mechanisms up there, we're actually going to take a drop off instead. If you have the cat ring, this is going to make it a little bit easier for you. So go ahead and equip that now. If you do, I'm going to drop off. And we're not really terribly bothered about fighting the enemies here. And then we just need to get to where the boulder is on its track. Across the other side, make our way to the top. Head up the ladder. Avoid the boulder a second time. This can actually be a pretty tight runs just be careful so that we can reach the second trinity door which laughably has the black cat amulet in it i'm so sorry about that drop off it is survivable though so yeah come to this that's going to get you the cat amulet and now we can move over to the third key okay and so for the third key which i think for most people should be from the third fairly unmissable phone on the way through the grand exhibition is right here i'm gonna get given a riddle about statues i think it's something about statues or it might be about a woman in any case to solve this all we need to do is continue on with the area obviously i cleared things out a little bit so it's a little bit quicker for us and you should come to this room which has the statues in it you might notice mine probably looks a bit different to yours if you haven't already interacted with it interact with this one twice and it'll start facing towards you and then the next key will be inside of here and the answer to the initial riddle from the phone is going to be egg okay egg let's put that in mind egg is the answer to that one okay and so door number three which is the Belford Radiation Converter, which whilst useful is probably the least good out of all of the rewards when I think about it. Or maybe the cat ring, I don't know. Anyways, right outside the Puppet King's boss room and the reward will obviously be inside. I feel like most people will have probably already seen this door, which allows us to move on to key number four, which is going to be much later in the game. Okay, so for phone number four, as in unique phone, riddle number four, Krat Central Station Street. This is quite close to the end chapter nine you're gonna want to make your way past a few of these enemies it's pretty simple to find and i'm pretty sure this is the first phone i think this might technically be the first phone no it's not the first phone because the first one was um with Vanini works wasn't it so anyway right here and you want to answer ergo this one sounds like the answer should be human you want to answer ergo if you get this wrong and you're asking about the apple, I do not know of a second apple within the game. If you've used it with the NPC to get the record, uh, I'm afraid there's not a lot we can do about it. So with that key, we're going to take that back to the very beginning of this chapter, back to the central station for the fourth door. 
which I'm sure if you've gotten this far, you'll already see. So just off to the left, as you're coming down here, you'll go ahead, you'll use your key. This character actually doesn't have the fourth key. And inside of there, I actually have this on the walkthrough there. Inside of there is going to be the upgraded version of the carrier's amulet. Carrier's amulet plus one. So extremely useful. Make sure you don't let, miss that like I did on my live streams. Make sure you get that one because that is very, very important. Even if you get this wrong, if you, you, could, you could, in theory, bring a key forward from one of the other riddles. And then even though a achievement is going to proc there, there is in fact a fifth key and a fifth riddle. So we're going to go ahead and we'll pass on to that. So the fifth key is going to be the, in the cave that you open after the attack on the hotel. Now, as you're coming around, you should hear it anyway, but on the left side, as you're coming towards where the boss room is, the boss room is actually directly below us. This is going to be the phone right here. And you want to answer yes to his question. Okay, so make sure you answer yes to this question. It's going to give you a box. It's going to go into your inventory. I believe it comes under your collectibles. And you're going to want to open that box. It's going to splash you with status effects and stuff. So just be a little bit careful. Make sure you're not like close to going down or something. It's kind of a practical joke, I suppose. But anyway, once you've gotten that key, we can move on to the next door which is in the final zone of the game okay then the final door during chapter 11 you're going to come across this room okay you'll recognize it. it's big it's square and you're probably going to want to make your round make your way around this properly because uh the first time you come down this for example i don't know if it's going to do it again now you're going to get aggroed on yeah here we go so make sure you defeat this enemy. And then your final door is right on the far end. Inside here is going to be very lore heavy and you should get yourself a piece of quartz. I don't know what effect the answer you give this guy is. But hopefully that gives you everything that you need to get all of the keys and open all of the doors. 